Welcome to the Anxiety Slayer series. Our mission is to assist you with creating more peace and tranquility in your life through anxiety release exercises and supportive tools created to slay your anxiety. Today's Anxiety Slayer podcast is brought to you by the Anxiety Slayer Academy. We've been offering a free podcast for over eight years to help anyone suffering with anxiety find relief. And now we're helping you go deeper by providing step-by-step support on how you can get the best experience from our favorite tools and techniques for overcoming anxiety. Get your free Anxiety Slayer starter course at anxietyslayer.teachable.com. Welcome back to Anxiety Slayer. I'm Shan Vanderleek here with my wonderful friend and business partner, Ananga Sevier. We come together weekly on Skype to share Anxiety Slayer sessions with you and enjoy answering listener questions from our inbox and Facebook page. And together we share a powerful collection of techniques to reduce anxiety. A couple of weeks ago, we asked for some feedback from our Facebook page members and concerns with anxiety that came up over and over again was anxiety about chest pain. So we thought we'd talk about that a little bit today. And uh, welcome, Ananga. I'm glad we're talking about this because this this comes up quite a bit. Hi, Shan. Yeah, I think anxiety over symptoms, persistent symptoms in the body is a really difficult thing to live with. And it does come up a lot. And uh, chest pain, of course, is a big concern for people and can be caused purely by anxiety. So it's a really difficult thing to live with. What are some of the recommendations that you have when chest pain shows up? The first thing, of course, is to seek medical advice if you're concerned about persistent symptoms. Do get yourself checked. And if you feel anxious about that, about getting checked, and that brings up more concern for you, then coming back round to EFT tapping is what I would recommend. So EFT tapping for the feelings, the emotions, the symptoms, and for helping support yourself, seek professional guidance if you need to. One of the things that occurs to me when this, this has happened to me before, where I'll feel really sharp chest pain and think, uh-oh, you know, what, what's that all about? So what I've noticed is when, when that's happened for me, luckily, I've been able to uh, breathe through it or use the calming point or or tap it away, and it hasn't been something that, that has lingered. But I, I do know that chest pain caused by anxiety can linger as well, which makes us even more afraid about what might be going on. And it's, it's just so much more prevalent, I think, than people realize. Yeah, and it's a big deal because it's there. I've had years of going to doctors when I first started to experience problems with my health going to doctors and them saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. I had one particular doctor that would tell me, we've had all this before with you, the dizziness, the weakness in your legs, the muscle pain. You've been here with this so many times. And it would be like, I don't know, like I was somebody going to a citizen's advice bureau and bugging them, you know. Right, sure, sure. (laughs) An uneven paving slab or something. It's like, oh, you're in here again with these problems. And he made me feel awful, absolutely awful. The reason I bring it up is because Sometimes we're living with real pain in our bodies, real symptoms in our bodies, and we need help and support for the reality of that, for what we're experiencing and what we're manifesting in our bodies. And with anxiety, it can bring up all kinds of pains. In this instance with me, eventually there was a a diagnosis, but I'm sure stress was a large part of it at that time in my life. Sure. I used to feel very defensive when I was young about people saying oh it's all in your head or you know it's this isn't real that's real when we feel pain in our body it's there it's real and of course Ayurveda really reconciled that for me when it teaches it's both it's there in our mind and it's in our body and if it's in our mind long enough it's going to go to our body and if our body's sick it's going to affect our mind so it brings a much more balanced and compassionate holistic view and the thing with anxiety and chest pains is it's really there if you, you say to somebody, point to yourself, you put your hands over your heart, it's right there. And it might be stabbing pains or shooting pains. You may have pressure in your chest. You may feel that your breathing's constricted. All these things can be anxiety, not just anxiety, 
anxiety because it's really awful and it really takes over your attention and your life. And if it's constant and debilitating, absolutely see a doctor and see somebody that you trust so that you can determine whether or not this is more serious than your anxiety. And I'm not saying that anxiety isn't serious, that what comes along with it isn't, but just to make sure to have that extra support to know that your heart is indeed just fine or that it's not and, and that you need you know, further medical care. Yeah. And again, with that, something we have talked about before is, and I didn't realize this for a long time, you're not obliged to see the doctor that's in front of you. No, you're not. You have the right to work with somebody that you feel respects you and that you feel that your heart is in good hands with, somebody you can talk to and you can confide in, not somebody that's just going to be blasé and, and push you aside. That's not the doctor you need with anything that you're going through. So we don't have to work with just who's there. We can move around until we find somebody that we can work with. No question. It reminds me of my own experience as well, because as you know, I had to try several different doctors until I found one where I felt like I could exhale and be myself and be transparent and and really get to the core of things. So really important to get the support you deserve and find somebody that you can talk to comfortably if you need to, if that's the route you decide you need to take. And so let's circle back around and talk about a couple of the things that we can do when we do have chest pains that we can do for ourselves immediately. The simplest thing is the calm point, which we've mentioned on several podcasts. Let's make sure everyone listening today knows how to do it. It's super helpful. And that is to just make a fist with your left hand and find the spot where your middle finger contacts the palm of your hand and then press into that spot with the thumb of your opposite hand. So you're pressing with the thumb of your right hand into the center of the palm of your left hand and just hold. Really apply a firm pressure there and hold and take deep, steady breaths. And that point's known as the calm point. It's known in Ayurveda as a point which is particularly helpful for calming the heart, calming a racing heart, calming anxiety. And Ayurveda and traditional Chinese medicine both reference this point as also having an effect on the physical heart. So massaging that point has a direct effect on the heart, calming it emotionally and physically. So it's a really good thing to know. So simple. And so effective. So I would recommend if you're suffering from chest pain, anxiety in your chest, that you use that point several times a day. When you get up in the morning, maybe sit on the side of your bed and just give that point a massage for a couple of minutes. You can do it again before you get into bed at night. Maybe set a reminder on your phone a couple of times a day to just remember to press into that point and take deep breaths. I love the calming point so much. It's been incredibly helpful. And just a couple of days ago, I was interviewed for a podcast and walked the host through it. And she was shocked by how calm she felt. I think we did about five or six rounds of breathing while pressing the area. And and it's always fun to see that that reaction because we know it works because we've been using it and, and talking about it for years, but to, to watch somebody else right before your very eyes go, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's so cool. And, yeah. and the anxious mind will tell you, oh, it's too simple, you don't understand, this won't work for me. That's anxiety. When, ang- when you hear that voice in your head, oh, that might work for you, but it won't work for me, or that's too simple, or you don't understand my symptoms, that is anxiety speaking, telling you that it's not, mm-hmm. you know, it's not up to scratch. Try it. It really, really works. It got me through a wisdom tooth extraction pretty calm. So Yeah, right. <laughs> I know it works. <laughs> and then, of course, EFT tapping for uh, chest pain, for anxiety. EFT tapping is so wonderful. It's so compassionate and so helpful for tuning into the truth of our situation. And simply just stating the issue as you feel it is, is what will get you started with finding relief thinking today, Sham, we could do a tap through so they can tap along with us. Sure. So anyone who has anxiety, chest pain, you can just follow along exactly with us. If you have another anxiety symptom, maybe some pressure in your throat, tension in your jaw, anxiety usually goes to my stomach. If you have those kind of symptoms, you can 
substitute your own words, but it's just really to give you an idea of the experience of EFT. And you will feel it for yourself within the next 10 minutes, how it can change your physiology and, and reduce your anxiety. So I think what would be nice, uh, Shan, is if you speak up for our listeners. So if you just play Simple Simon with me and repeat the phrases after me. Yeah, I'd happily do that. So first thing to do, and you can find a, a chart of the tapping points on our website at anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT. So if you're not already familiar with the tapping points, you can pause the podcast and go and open that screen, take a look there at where the points are. But I'll also describe where you need to tap as we go. So the first thing with EFT, EFT works on a series of meridian points, the same points that acupuncturists use in the body. These are dynamic, proven points that have an effect on our physiology and our emotional state. There are many practices where tapping is used on the body or patting is used on the energy channels of the body for clearing blockages and releasing emotional pain. So that's a brief overview of how EFT works. So to get started with me now, you need to find the spot on the side of your left hand, halfway down the side of the hand, between the base of your little finger and your wrist bone. And that's the point nicknamed the karate chop point. So if you just imagine if you're going to chop a piece of wood in half, that's the point of the hand where you'd strike the wood. So finding that point, you just need to tap on it with the opposite fingers of your other hand. You can do it with the two or three fingers. You could just use the index finger and the middle finger or three fingers and bunch them together with your thumb. That's what I usually do. Just bring tips of all your fingers together with your thumb, just tapping on that point. And then for EFT, it's a targeted process. So you're tuning into what's disturbing you and you're tuning into how you feel about it right now. Even if chest pain and anxiety in your chest may sometimes feel 10 out of 10 completely overwhelming, tap then as well because you're automatically tuned into what you're experiencing. But have a think about how it feels for you right now. So for that, we'd use a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being completely relaxed and calm and 10 being optimum anxiety. So just have an idea where you feel in your body right now and just remember that number. Where would you find yourself on that scale between zero and ten? Check back on that. Shan, you can remind me to check back on that because I sometimes forget. (laughs) Okay, so start tapping on the side of your hand. And we'll just start with the bare basic truth of it as has come through in our Facebook questions. Even though I have this pain in my chest. Even though I have this pain in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this anxiety in my chest. Even though I have this anxiety in my chest. And I'm scared there might be something wrong with my heart. And I'm scared that there might be something wrong with my heart. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have all this anxiety in my chest. Even though I have all this anxiety in my chest. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. Okay. And then we start tapping at the first point, which is the beginning of your eyebrow. So right where the eyebrow meets the bridge of the nose. And you can just tap there with a couple of fingers about seven or eight times. And just repeat. This is a reminder phrase to help you keep tuned into the issues. So we just say... All this anxiety in my chest. All this anxiety in my chest. And then tapping on the outside corner of your eye. Anxiety about the pain in my chest. Anxiety about the pain in my chest. And tapping under your eye. This persistent pain in my chest. This persistent pain in my chest. And tapping on your top lip. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know if I want to know where it's coming from. I don't know if if I want to know where it's coming from. It's causing me so much anxiety. It's causing me so much anxiety. And then tapping in the middle of your chin. All this pain and anxiety in my chest. All this pain and anxiety in my chest. And then tapping under your arm, which is about six inches under under the pit. So if you're a lady, it's where the bra runs around the side of the body. Just patting on that point with the flat of your hand. All this pain and anxiety in my chest. All this pain and anxiety in my chest. And then we come back up to the beginning of the eyebrow point again, tapping there with a couple of fingers. Take a nice deep breath in. 
and just release the breath. This pain and anxiety in my chest. This pain and anxiety in my chest. And then tapping on the outside corner of your eye. This pain and anxiety in my chest. This pain and anxiety in my chest. Tapping under your eye. Every time I feel it, it really worries me. Every time I feel it, it really worries me. And tapping under your nose. This fear that there may be something wrong. This fear that there may be something wrong. And tapping in the middle of your chin. This conflict in me. Is it something serious or is it just my anxiety? This conflict in me, is this something serious or is it just my anxiety? And then tapping under your arm, this pain and anxiety in my chest. This pain and anxiety in my chest. And you take a deep breath in and release it. <sighs> and have a stretch. Feel your feet on the floor. Take a moment to ground yourself. Feel the temperature of your feet. Feel what the surface that they're resting on feels like. Is it rough or smooth, hot, cold? Just really put your awareness in your feet and just get nice and grounded for a moment. And this is where you would check in to find out how you're feeling on that scale of 1 to 10. Has, has it changed? That's exactly right. So whatever your number was before, what is it now? And then we'll tap again. So coming back to tapping on the side of your hand and that karate chop point. Even though I have all this pressure and pain in my chest. Even though I have all this pain and pressure in my chest. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have all this fear and anxiety in my chest. Even though I have all this fear and anxiety in my chest. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I feel like I'm carrying so much on my chest. Even though I feel like I'm carrying so much on my chest. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then coming back up to tapping on the beginning of your eyebrow point, where the eyebrow meets the bridge of your nose, just tapping there. All this pressure on my chest. All this pressure on my chest. I'm tapping on the outside corner of your eye. All that I'm carrying. All that I'm carrying. Tapping under your eye. This burden on my chest. This burden on my chest. Tapping under your nose. This pressure in my heart. This pressure in my heart. And tapping on your chin. All this anxiety in my chest. All this anxiety in my chest. And tapping on your collarbone point. Beginning of the collarbone. All this fear and anxiety in my chest. All this fear and anxiety in my chest. And then coming down. To tapping under your arm. All this pressure in my chest. All this pressure in my chest. And we're going to go through again. And this time we're going to tap and breathe. So we're really releasing our anxiety around this pressure. So tapping at the beginning of the eyebrow. Take a deep breath in. And release it. All this pain in my chest. All this pain in my chest. And tapping on the outside corner of your eye. Deep breath in. And release it. All this pressure in my chest. All this pressure in my chest. Tapping under the eye. Deep breath in. And release it. All this anxiety in my chest. All this anxiety in my chest. And tapping on your top lip. Under your nose. Deep breath in. And release it. All this weight and burden and fear on my chest. All of this weight and burden and fear on my chest. And then coming down to tapping on your chin. All this anxiety on my chest. All this anxiety in my chest. Coming down to tapping on the collarbone. This fear and anxiety in my chest. This fear and anxiety in my chest. Deep breath in. And release it. And just a really nice firm pat on the point under the arm there. All this anxiety and pressure in my chest. All this anxiety and pressure in my chest. And again, stretch. Feel your feet on the floor. Shake your arms, shake your legs. <sighs> Did I hear a yawn? If you're yawning, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a very good thing. If you're sighing and yawning, it's a good thing. If you're tearing up at any of the words we're using, then 
that means it has a relevance to you. So remember those words and keep tapping on those words. So now we're just going to go through one more time, tapping on the side of your hand. Even though I have this remaining anxiety and pressure in my chest. Even though I have this remaining anxiety and pressure in my chest. I'm open to honoring my feelings. I'm open to honoring my feelings. And supporting myself through this. And supporting myself through this. Tapping still on that point. Even though I have this remaining anxiety and pain in my chest. Even though I have this remaining anxiety and pain in my chest. I choose to support myself. I choose to support myself. In releasing it now. In releasing it now. And again, tapping on the side of your hand. Even though I have all this pressure on my chest. Even though I have all this pressure on my chest. I love and accept myself. I love and accept myself. I'm open to finding new ways of healing. I'm open to finding new ways of healing. And releasing this pain. And releasing this pain. And now we're going to go through starting tapping on the top of your head, right in the middle of the top of your head. This is a really key healing meridian point. So just pat in here. Open to releasing this pain and pressure. Open to releasing this pain and pressure. And tapping at the beginning of your eyebrow. Releasing the pain in my chest. Releasing the pain in my chest. And tapping on the outside corner of your eye. Relaxing and releasing the pain in my chest. Relaxing and releasing the pain in my chest. And tapping under your eye. Supporting myself through this difficult time. Supporting myself through this difficult time. And tapping on your top lip. Open to hope. Open to hope. And tapping on your chin. Open to healing. Open to healing. And then tapping on your collarbone. Releasing this fear and pain in my chest. Releasing this fear and pain in my chest. And again, tapping under your arm. Releasing this fear and pain in my chest. Releasing this fear and pain in my chest. And I would recommend that you rewind and repeat that several times, taking really nice deep breaths in and then going through those statements and tapping. I invite you to download the podcast and repeat it several times a day, first thing in the morning, in the evening, before you go to bed, and any time you feel that pain and anxiety rising in with you. And just, just check in now and see how you feel. If your number was at a set level before, say, for example, a six before, what is it now? And jot it down on a piece of paper so that you know you've done something that helped and you can remember to come back and do it again. Get everything you need to start slaying your anxiety today. Visit anxietyslayer.teachable.com to claim our free Anxiety Slayer starter course. You get four guided sessions, including an EFT tapping session, guided breathing practice, and special module on overcoming the fear of anxiety. Don't just listen to the Anxiety Slayer podcast. Become an Anxiety Slayer. Claim your free Anxiety Slayer starter course at anxietyslayer.teachable.com.